Hi there, in this video tutorial I'm going to show you how you can configure your computer to have all of the files and settings similar to the computer that you've had in the past. So the first thing I like to do is make sure that I can see my hard drive on my desktop. So a quick and easy way to do that is to click on the background or click on the desktop and in Finder look for Preferences and make sure that you have show hard disks selected. You might also want to go ahead and check connected servers because if you're connected to like the VLA drive or the PAC drive or the PFA drive it's going to show up under connected servers. So I'm going to go ahead and close that and I have my hard drive up there. So why I like to have the hard drive there is I can double click on it and be easily taken to a finder window where I can navigate to applications. The second thing that I want to do is adjust my mouse settings. So if I look in applications, I'm going to look for system preferences. And when system preferences launches, I'm going to choose mouse if I'm on a desktop or trackpad if I'm on a laptop. I happen to be on a laptop, so I'm going to choose trackpad. And there are three tabs across the top here that allow you to adjust some of the different features of your trackpad. So under point and click, I want to make sure tap to click is selected so that I can just gently tap on the trackpad to select something. Similarly, under secondary click, I want to look at how I'm, how I'm actually tapping on the trackpad to do right click. So I have it set up for two fingers, but you could also set it up so that you click in the right corner. Now as you make these changes, notice there's a little video tutorial on the right here that kind of shows you what that looks like. So there's a variety of changes that you can make to your trackpad and if you're on a desktop you can make many of the same changes to your mouse. So I'm going to go ahead and set that back to two fingers. Uh, but you know, take some time, look through scroll and zoom and look through more gestures to kind of look at some different ways that you can operate your Mac. So I'm going to close system preferences though. Now the next thing that I like to do is make sure that my dock is completely set up with the files that I, I like to use on a regular basis. So I'm going to go ahead and drag system preferences to my dock because that's something I find useful to have really close by. I'm also going to go ahead and add Google Chrome and Safari to my dock. Now if you happen to add something to your dock that you don't want, all you have to do is grab it and drag it off to the side and let go and it will kind of poof away. But I'm going to go ahead and bring Safari back so I have some, some of my applications there and you can come back and add these later but you might want to add a few of your favorites. And similarly if you're used to maybe having the downloads folder over here, if you go back you can actually close this and double click on the hard drive again and under Macintosh hard drive if you go to users and then your name with the little house next to it you can drag that folder down to the bottom of the screen so maybe downloads is one, one that I want I can just grab it and I can put it on my dock I just kinda have to squeeze it in there and let go and now it'll be on my dock so you can configure your dock however you want to by simply dragging things down to it the next thing that you might want to do is reestablish all of your bookmarks in Chrome. So if you launch Google Chrome, the very first screen that is brought up is the login screen. So go ahead and log in with your Natomas Charter information. And once you've logged in, it's going to come up a little screen that says, do you want to create a new user or link my Chrome data to this account? You're going to actually go ahead and create a new user. And so when you create a new user, what happens is all of the applications are brought over along with um, your bookmarks. So up here across the top I have my various bookmarks. And you'll also have, even if you have um, some Chrome extension set up, they'll come over as well. And it takes a few minutes and it might be kind of crazy at first because everything's kind of launching and, and doing its different things, but just bringing over all of your data. Um, and you know that you'll be good to go when you know the tabs stop coming up that would be the first thing uh, but also as you look across the top you should see your bookmarks here and that's kind of a sign that all your data has come over so finally once that's done you can click on a new tab and you should see whatever Chrome applications you've installed if you've installed any will be in the the apps area as well so that's kind of getting Google Chrome all set up I'm gonna go ahead though and close Google Chrome I don't need that anymore and the last thing I'm going to show you in this video is how you can bring your Google Drive folder back to your computer. So similar to other things we've done, you want to click on Finder or Hard Drive. You can go either way. I'll double click on Hard Drive. Go into the Applications folder 
and look for Google Drive. And it'll say, do you want to open it? Go ahead and click open. And once Google Drive launches, the first thing that it's going to ask you to do is to log in. So I'm going to sign in with my Natomas Charter account. And then I'm going to go ahead and click Next and Start Sync. And so it says it's going to need my permission to enable Finder. So I click OK. And just go ahead and put in your computer password. And once you have that set up, you'll notice a new folder appears. It'll be called Google Drive. And on the left, under Favorites, it's going to show up at the bottom. And in, if this screen opens up similar to mine has, where it's your name, you'll see Jay Wood, or whatever your username is, and then Google Drive. And then when, what ends up happening is Google Drive starts syncing all of your files over. This is very similar to what you did um, earlier in the year when you first set up Google Drive. And depending on how many files you have, um, it could be a really quick process, or in my case, I have about 3,000 files, so it's going to take a good 10 minutes or so to sync everything over. But once I see my Google Drive folder, all of the applications, or not applications, but all of the icons have green check marks next to them, then that data has been sunk over. If I see little blue arrows kind of syncing back and forth, that data is still coming back and forth. But the final way that you can check to see that all your drive files have come over is simply by clicking on the drive icon and just seeing how many files are left and it kind of gives you a little message. Like I said, this can take a couple minutes up to 10 minutes. So that's just a quick little tutorial for adjusting your mouse, getting everything set into your docs, um, and then also bringing over your Chrome and your Google Drive data. In the next video, we'll take a look at bringing over multimedia, such as pictures, videos, and music. So if you copied those over to an external drive, look for the second video that will show you how to bring those back.